Let's give it on. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Where's my mic? Nope. Yep. Yeah, what's up, Palmer? How we doing? I've got a different camera angle tonight. Obviously, we've got some landscape. You have to get used to it on YouTube as opposed to TikTok. I'm doing alright. Can you guys hear me alright? First time trying to work with the new mic through OBS. Have it on, right, got it. Music is a little bit. Right. Is that all right? Mic up. Mic up. Uh, mic is as loud as I can go. Unless I just talk closer to it and a bit louder. How we doing, guys? On YouTube, correct. Music is still draining me out, is it? I thought I'd turn it down. Let me try it more. Better? Music was just blasting, huh? Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get used to this sort of stuff, but hopefully, hopefully I can get there. I am technologically... Terrible. Doing alright, guys. Doing alright. Yeah, yeah. Using the pod mic. Correct. Haven't worked out the noise cancelling as of yet, so you'll hear me doing all my stuff, but we'll get there. This is a beginning. It's just a beginning. Mic quality good? Ah, oh, that's awesome. Awesome. All right, we'll start painting some stuff. It's a little bit, so I can't really zoom in unless I change the size of this. All right, let's see how we go. Need to bring the mic closer to my mouth. The problem is I'm going to start getting way too much stuff in the way. This is already way different because I have to get, look over to my laptop to check if you guys have messaged. Oh, it's good the audio is good. Now I just need a bigger desk so I can set up monitors so I'm not turning my head to read your messages, guys. actually surprised I was able to do this. I think she was the highest highest gift of last night. Yo, what's up plastics? This is already really annoying where I have to put my arms. Gonna have to sort this out eventually.
Man, if it's royalty free, we might. We, I'll play it. We'll play it a bit. Just squaring off all these edges before we put a wash on this. I took a photo last night and I was just like, oh my god. Just need to fix this before I do any wash. Let me know if I need to change anything. Like, do I need to turn the music back up or is it all good? Yeah, the head, the, cause we've, we've actually done a wash on the head. I don't know if I'll be able to get this to focus. I think it's gonna be tough with smaller stuff on YouTube. Damn. Damn. Yeah, we did a wash on the head and it actually came up pretty good. Uh, I got ya. Yeah, I have to I have to get a proper setup on the desk, gutter, because right now the desk is too small and I've sort of got things off to the side and the mic's not in the uh, the mic's not in the right spot, the camera's not in the right spot, so we'll just have to manage for tonight and I think on the weekend I'll get the uh, the large desk and we'll go from there. Funny looking TikTok page, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Leo, how are we doing? How you doing, Rebecca? Sorry. Do you know I should I should put the mic over the other side. But I don't think I can. How good are naps, Leo? I have them a lot now. That could be my age though. It's going to take a lot to get used to people's names <laughs> on YouTube. We'll do this again on Thursday. So tomorrow we'll be back on TikTok. And then Thursday we'll jump back on YouTube. And I'll try and set, I'll try and do a better setup than I've got right now in terms of positioning everything. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think it was possible, but I've managed to to get into a position that is more awkward to paint than I was on TikTok. All good, Palmo, all good. Uh, what are we going to do? We'll do the brown. We'll square the brown off and then we'll wash. Then we'll wash the... Whenever I put the mic underneath me a little bit, that'll be a bit weird.
Maybe we'll try the mic there. And then that way, it'll still be near my mouth if I turn. Hey, I only just made a, a YouTube account not too long ago for just for this page as well. Let's see how we go. Can I get underneath here to paint? Maybe. <laughs> seeing my real name yeah see i made another account just so i could go into Lockie's account not as bfg because i think Lockie was streaming under battle forge gaming Are you happy with that? Maybe you're happy with that. Uh, this one. You'll have to excuse me if I'm not centered. It's quite tough where I've positioned everything. And I'm used to looking at my camera on my phone to see if I'm centered. But now I'm having to look to my right on my laptop to see if I'm centered until I get my desk set up. So I'm sure my neck is going to absolutely hate me after this. All right, what do we use for the wash? One part, one part Agrax, two part Lamian, I think, wasn't it? Duncan, no, no, not likely to happen. Not likely. Yo, Millman, how you doing, pal? Yeah, 
Right, let's wash it. Let's wash camo cloak. This is going to be very subtle, but it is going to help define the creases in the cloak and we can always go back. I'm going to put this over near the ducted heating. I don't want it to. Don't want it to like power dry it. But While that is drying, I think we will get started back on the backpack. What run sheet were you writing, Static, for your podcast? Let's block in. The backpack here. It's actually really funny. I didn't think I could possibly get any further away from my body painting like I did on TikTok, but I've managed to do it on YouTube. Yeah, it's always good static. 
I was thinking the same thing once we start making our podcasts. That way people can plan ahead a little bit. I'll try and get a bit more light going on for you guys. That might be better. That might be better. Nah, the first podcast is probably just going to be me and Mike chilling on a couch or potentially at our work. So where Mike and I work, we've got a new office being set up and it looks really, really nice. And I was just, I was like saying to Mike, maybe we could just come in on weekends and where the boardroom is, we could, we could sit and have a chat, but I would like to do it on some couches, just have it like super casual. Just going in with some Agrax here, just to define these creases a bit more. Two bros chilling in a boardroom, basically, yeah. Hot tub special. That'll probably be episode 50, I think, Palmo. We'll do episode 50. Ep 50 after Mike and I have been running for a bit just to, to get fit again. We'll get a bit of sun on us and uh, we'll just be two tanned bros sitting in a hop tub talking hobby. Yeah, for sure, static. Obviously very novice. I think I just somewhat fluked my way through this a little bit. The The Procaster actually really helps the setup. Like it's, it, it is quite easy to set up even for someone like myself, but I'm sure at some point we will need episode 69. Uh, that might be a different at Palmer, but yeah, I'm, I'm assuming somewhere down the line with some advanced settings and, and whatnot, we'll probably need a little bit of a hand somewhere. I can watch some YouTube videos, but they can only get you so far. I was trying to watch the, the noise cancelling video just before I got on. Mind you, I, I didn't leave myself enough time. And they just went through that way too fast on, on the actual road YouTube page or whatever it was. It was it was just way, way too fast. Yeah, audio levels is a big thing, Static, for sure.
like as much as we're not really doing this for a job I, I would like to make it as sort of come across across as sort of as crisp and as professional as possible so I've got a cursor on the screen the whole time Right, where'd that head go? We need to do the same on the head. Hey, Noxy, how you doing? Is the delay all right, guys, from my voice to you guys replying? I, b I believe I tried to get the latency right. I think that's the correct technical term. If it's not, well... I just sound like an idiot on the internet in front of people, so that's not really anything new. I think Mike's going to be happy with this. A long delay is there? Ah, oh, thought I had the latency correct. I'll have to play with some settings. Oh, can you guys send multiple likes? That's cool. I thought you can only like the stream once. Tap, 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 guys. Tap, tap, tap. As Japan Noxy. I think it might be YouTube's latency issue. Maybe. I did think I put the the settings correct. I followed followed some guy's setup, so Is that where the cloak finished?
You've only got a little pick, but I think your hair looks nice, my friend. We're just going to <clears throat> edge highlight around. The cloak a little bit. Man, you guys aren't going to be able to see anything. I need to get a camera. The iPhone is just not going to cut it for this. I don't know if I need to, I don't know if I want to do the other, the creases. I think it might look weird.
Uh, black static it's gonna be black
Tamiya TS80, flat clear. That's it, Milman. How good. You're going to love it, man. You're going to love it. You just not have some 25s static or <laughs> it feels wrong it doesn't feel normal right now for me i haven't got the the best sort of positioning for all my stuff i think what i might end up doing is Potentially keeping the TikTok all the same at 8 p.m., but we might just do like an early bird stream on, on YouTube. It won't be really that early. It'll just probably be me painting for an extra hour beforehand on YouTube. Paint even more. See you, Palmo. Also, think in terms of TikTok, when we get back on TikTok, that I th the the gifting I think we're going to keep exclusively to TikTok. I don't think we're going to use the tip jar anymore. As good as the tip jar was in terms of the percentage of the gift I received, I think in terms of the reach we were getting whilst we were getting gifts on TikTok. Um, it's probably worth more getting the reach to be fair. Plus all, all your generous gifts have already gone a long way. So At this point, I think it'd be it'd be good to to get the reach back out there and get our YouTube to a thousand and go from there. I'm very reluctant to just do a big highlight down here because I know it's not going to look fantastic on the 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 gray I think it'd look okay on the brown so I might have to individually highlight each color which is going to suck but sort of going to do it There's actually not that many creases on this cloak though. They're just 
It's like three simple creases. Um, I could probably dual stream Andy, but it would be um, it'd be basically setting up two two completely different streams. So I would just stream TikTok exclusively through my phone and then buy an SLR camera, which I need to anyway, and set that up and run this setup that I'm currently doing for YouTube. So I basically have two cameras. They'd be on slightly different camera angles, but I could probably stream both at the same time. Because I'm on Mac, there's no way I can get my stream key for TikTok, so I can't run TikTok and YouTube through OBS. So it would have to be individually streamed, which, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing. I don't think the YouTube's really going to kick off in terms of the lives, but it will be good for the watch hours. Yeah, I don't think, so I don't think it'd be too many issues reading comments. Like, I do like to reply on the TikTok. And like I said, I don't think there'll be a tremendous amount of people on YouTube. There might be five or something, four. And I can always reply to four people in YouTube as well as the um, the people on TikTok. So we might give that a go. I have to buy a camera for that. But um, we're sort of at a position now where we can do that as well. So... Um, yeah, it'd be good. I think it'd be good. And we'll go back to the, the gifts on TikTok. As much as it's sucky, the percentage they take, just, yeah, getting the, the exposure is sort of worth it. We'll keep the patron though. We'll keep the patron. We would have had actually quite a few subs on TikTok, which probably would have been really good for the exposure as well. Because there's not many, there's not many streamers with the amount of subs that we had. We had a comparison a lot of times where after those streams, when we we're getting lots of likes and the gifts and we were getting the same amount of reacts that pages with a million followers had. Mind you, you don't know how many of those million followers were legitimate followers. I mean, I could try Twitch, but right now we want to get the watch hours up and the thousand followers on YouTube. That's that's the uh, sort of the next goal Mike and I are trying to work on. Hopefully he's not too far off that Tyranid tutorial. I did give it to him last week and I know it does take a while to get those overlays on, but uh, hopefully it's not too far away because I'm actually really excited for those tutorials. I know a few other content creators have released some to um, Tyranid stuff, so it'd be good to get out there whilst people are searching it still. They're very easy tutorial to follow as well. In my opinion. Oh, thank you, Milman. Uh, we're actually at the point now but we're actually at the point where I, the only thing we really need is another camera, but we're at that point where we can, I can get it. We're financially at a point with BFG that we can get a camera. So we've got all the podcast gear. I think the camera is just the next sort of big main purchase. Like we paid for the website and the domain name and all that type of stuff. Um, in terms of equipment, we're pretty good. I do appreciate it though. There might be something we look at in the future if we ever go down the road of battle reports, but I don't know if I'm going to try and be that guy. I think that field's very, very saturated. And there's people that do it very, very well. Um, what color do we want? What are we going to highlight Mournfang Brown with? That's a plus one, isn't it? What are we going to highlight Mournfang Brown with? Maybe, 
Maybe a bit of death claw, Bran. Yeah, I've heard about Kick Razor. So Mike, the other guy that helps me on the stream, was going to go over to Kick and start streaming some of the Warp Forge closed alpha game. But at at this point, um, like I was saying, it's it's not even about trying to get revenue anymore. It's more about exposure. So. Tamiya TS80. Mate, hopefully Tamiya send me Tamiya TS80 flat clear. Surely, surely, the, you know, I get a sponsorship from them. The amount I try and push that product. Thank you very much, Static. Yep. Uh, I'm wondering what it's going to be. <laughs> Do I have a host? Uh, what do you mean by that, Andy? For the website? Mike's, Mike's just doing the finishing touches on the website. He's been doing the finishing touches for about three months now. I'm hoping he's not in chat. <laughs> Is this going to be the right color? We're about to find out, aren't we? We're about to find out. And you guys probably won't be able to see. Tell you, that's one thing that's good with TikTok, the fact that I can just pinch zoom and get and just zoom in for you guys. Mm, no. That's not the color we want. That is not the color we want. Yeah, YouTube does, yeah, YouTube does do lives. It's a very funny thing, the YouTube lives, though. So where TikTok is is better is the fact that they will somewhat promote your page, like push you out to people's for you pages. Whereas YouTube, unless people search Warhammer and they're actually looking for a live, they're not really going to come and watch your lives. Oh, hang on, what's this color? No, that's not gonna work. I think YouTube YouTube Lives is is more um, based for people that already have a following. They're like already past their thousand followers. They've got like ten thousand followers, and they're just like, "Hey, we're gonna do some sort of event and announce it." It's not so much for doing the um, the lives like you do on TikTok or like I do on TikTok. As much as TikTok gets um, bashed, it is very good for just, uh, for, for being discovered, I think. More than any other sort of streaming service. Mind you, I was extremely consistent with my streams, you know. This is the first time we've missed a stream in on TikTok in what m months? Even after those two that I missed when I went and saw my brother. I really can't find a good highlight for this Mournfang Brown. I don't know what's going on. I just don't want to add too much orange to it. Normally, I'd go sort of Deathclaw Brown, but that option's not r really looking great. Just trying to add some Gorthor Brown to it.
I mean, it's funny in this day and age, looking forward to my days off, my days off from work. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be doing a lot of painting, probably a few little day trips because I still would like to make all my streams, but uh, a couple of little day trips, maybe, maybe some late night stuff. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't had some time off in a long time. In a long time. <clears throat> it was about to say it was replying to Millman. In this day and age, you sort of, um, I guess, being consistent and reliable is often frowned upon. You know, people are more about spontaneity and excitement and stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess if you, if you looked as con consistent, sometimes it's not it's not really a favorable attribute. But uh, that is definitely one thing I always have been. Hence, why I haven't had, you know, time off at work for such a long time because I am that reliable guy at work that would always turn up basically unless, you know, I, I really need to have time off when, um, when, oh, we're about to get real here, guys. We're about to get real here. When my father passed away, I only had two days off work. So my, <laughs> I'm extremely consistent, extremely consistent. Mate, I'll definitely, like, I'm going to have a month off, Leo, and I'm going to be trying to film, like, a heap, a heap of tutorials. It's actually going to be good to be able to get a backlog of tutorials up. Need to put some more stuff on the Patreon for you guys. it would be good. It's going to be tough for Mike to keep up, to be able to do the little overlays and stuff for, for YouTube, but... Yeah. It's going to be very good. Very good time off. And a long time off too. I've never taken a month off before. No, I won't burn myself out. Thank you very much, Milman. No, th thank you, Static. Thank you. It was a while ago now, but... Um... Yeah, just consistent. That's me. <laughs> consistent and reliable. Just trying to make this edge highlight as subtle as possible because I feel like if it stands out too much, I'm going to lose that camo effect. And I definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, I've got leave. So I've got from the 18th of August off until the 18th of September. Which uh, I've still got um, a static talks about long service leave. I've still got, I've still got my, uh, this is going to be taken out of my long service leave, not my annual leave. And then I've got like weeks, weeks of annual leave. I've actually sort of put myself in a difficult position to take my annual leave because I'd love to just take a massive chunk off. Like I could probably take half a year off and still be getting paid for it. Um, and I'd like to think my work would still have a position there for me when I came back. I mean, I did help start the business and without trying to sound arrogant, it's Melman talking about being humble. Um, I'm very, very good at what I do when it comes to sign writing. So it would be hard for work to replace me. I feel like they could find someone and then they would realize uh, just how good I was for the business. But I would never take six months off from, from work, but I'd like to be able to take a couple of months off and just really um, get a lot of that annual leave sort of paid off. Take five weeks off. Yeah, see, I take, I get to have my two weeks off 
at the end of the year. I've always done always done it for Christmas. And with the with the um, public holidays and stuff, it sort of ends up being around three weeks. But I've only ever taken the two weeks off at the end of each year. And I've been at this place for 10 years. So what's that? 20 I've, I've basically got 20 weeks annual leave on top of my on top of my long service. <laughs> used to me on the air, used to me on TikTok. It does feel weird being on YouTube doing this. I'm not going to lie. It does feel weird to the point where I think that I will just do sort of an hour paint session before each TikTok and just and just stream on TikTok as well. Travel Europe. I mean, I could travel Europe. Have to go get my passport and all that stuff sorted out. It expired a long, long time ago, so. Maybe I'd have to do two trips. I'd have to do a Europe trip and then a, a trip of the States. I do have a few people over in the States. It's obviously a lot easier to, to do Europe, though. You guys can just bloody take an Uber to another country. The subdued music. I can turn the music up a little bit. I don't want it to be too... I don't want it to be too low. Let me know if the music gets too loud. Oh, remember the sick leave you used to you used to um, accrue, and now you don't. You just get it's just ten. It's it's ten personal days a year now, isn't it? I think if I jumped on before this stream and you would tell me that somehow I would manage to put my camera in a worse position than I do when I film TikTok, I'd be like, nah, there's no way. There's no way. Turns out there is. There is a way. Yo, what's up, Blake? Assuming Blake paints minis because... Blake paints minis normally comes in and says morning all. Seventy K sick leave. Damn, son. I did notice that I have got some um, effects I can apply to my mic. I don't know what reverb does. Should I push the button and see what it does? Yeah, forced into forced into holidays. If I was working at a, a large a larger place, like if I was at Bunnings, they wouldn't let me have the annual leave I've got right now. My boss wanted to pay out some of it, and I'm just like, nah, man. I want to get paid and have the time off. I don't want to just get paid. Like, if you want to pay me, then pay me like a time and a half <laughs> for all that time I thought it was Blake's paints minis there's not many Blake's I mean we've got three Blake's that come on no nah, we're not going to be here from now on Blake I was just trying it out I think what I'm going to do is still stream on TikTok every day and then maybe Every Tuesday, Thursday, do an hour before the TikToks. It just feels a bit weird here. And like, it's good for the, this is good for the watch hours. It's definitely going to get them up. But um, 
I don't know. We're gonna we're just gonna try a few things. Reverb is an echo. I've got an echo. I'm gonna push reverb. You ready? Whoa. What is this? No, I'm not doing that. Nah, I'm not playing with those guys. There was a bunch of like little um, digital twisty knobs and, and stuff on there. I got no idea what that stuff does. I'm best to stay away from it. Otherwise, I'll sound like a robot for the rest of the stream. Although having said that, we might uh we once I get I might do dual streams by digital SLR, set it up, get a bigger desk, and then stream to TikTok and YouTube at the same time. It is normally closer in TikTok. I can maybe go like this. Do you want, I can see if I can I can see if I can <laughs> oh man actually wait what if i go like this um i can try and make this bigger we'll see that's sort of all i can give you guys Yeah, maybe we could live stream Garrick when I'm sleeping. So that could be like one of my sleeping streams, but it's just Garrick spinning. Is the audio, the audio better than TikTok? You and me both, Emma. How sad would it be if Garrick's stream just spinning 24 hours on a on a platform got more viewers than my streams? Which it probably would, to be fair. Um, I think that's gonna just about do it for the camo start working on the the rest of the armor and the inside i think i'm happy with that i could raise the music levels a little bit let me see what i can do Let me know if this one's too loud. I just obviously don't want it to overpower myself. Man, how much would it suck if I bought a bunch of mics? Well, I mean, to be fair, you guys bought the mics. I've got to stop saying to be fair be honest you guys helped buy the mic so <laughs> yeah this song's swearing a lot what's going on there royalty free language please Uh, 
I don't know where to oh, do that. To be fair, to be fair, I need to stop saying it. It's like anything though, you get into a habit of saying it. You just say it all the time. What happened to my... Oh, there. Plastic. You don't want to win Garrick, man. That, that's like a, that's a death wish. Just need to turn this down a little bit, guys. The, uh... The road mic's actually picking it up, I think. Does this music sound like this should be like a dude perfect video? Or like those, what are the Aussie guys that smash stuff? What are they called? They just drop stuff from really high up. How ridiculous. That's the ones, Matthew. That's the ones. I made the mistake of watching them on Facebook once and then I just got absolutely smashed by their stuff. It's like anything nowadays though. Click on anything once and then, yeah, you just get copious amounts of the same thing, right? Or someone else watches it and then your phone talks to the other phone. I think it's actually pretty dangerous with a lot of stuff, you know. Puts you in a bit of an echo chamber. So all you keep seeing is the same videos over and over. Which if you've got some sort of opinion on a specific thing. Um, just puts you in that echo chamber of hearing the same thing over and over. Instead of hearing different opinions about it.
pretty cool to see that out of the 300 people we have on discord that uh what i can't even see how many people are in this stream because i haven't got youtube open how many people came across from the discord we got we got some tiktok viewers even some people that normally lurk have actually come to youtube and had a chat which is awesome i thank you very much for that I'm so happy with how this red came out on these flesh terrors. It's just playing against this camo so well. So well. 13 viewers. Hey, that's not bad. We've been having some TikTok streams that have 13 people in them, so. What? I wasn't even looking at my model and I just uh was blocking in those colors and i nailed it couldn't do that again if i tried if we're zoom if we're zoomed in on tiktok you'd be able to see it all right so my job on the weekend look at some cameras get a new desk Knox, is that is that meant to be a spooning koala, but in emotes? Is that what that is? You know, the, the unfortunate thing about this is it's cool. We're going to be able to reuse this video. So we can just post it up and be like, hey, painting session with with, with Judd. The unfortunate thing is it's so far, like, I think it's a bit too far away. I need to really, really sort out my camera sitch. Well, I got it, so that makes sense. Thank you, Noxy. Thank you for the spooning koala. Emote. Hashtag gift. I don't know why I said hashtag. I guess the relaxing thing about YouTube stream for me, because I already said before the stream that we were going to do the three hours is that I can just sit here and paint. I don't need to tell people to like, don't have to ask people to gift because that's just naturally who I am. It's, it's often very difficult for me to sit there and try and promote the stream and whatnot because it's not normally what I would, I would do. So that part of it's actually pretty relaxing for me. The fact I can just sit here and paint at a really bad distance for you guys so you can't see anything it's a pretty dirty beat for a royalty free music
Aussie Koala. Leo the Aussie Koala. Where's my pre-mixed color? Is that it? Nope. Where did I put it? Seriously, where did I put my... Oh, there. It's in front of me, guys. It's in front of me. Can you send me that on on Discord, Matthew? Thanks, mate. Thank you. Oh, yeah, for sure, plastics. What I do, because I live near Churnside Park, and there's a good guy and a Bunnings next to each other. Quite often, there's also a, a Harvey Norman. I'll go between the three and get the best price and then be like, hey, I just went to the good guys and they had this for this price. I did it when I got my TV and soundbar, and the guy at the guy at good guys was fantastic. I think good guys and JB are owned by the same people though, aren't they? Keep going until it's free. Just keep going back and forth. We might only do two hours tonight, guys. I think I've positioned my stuff so badly that I'll ruin my back if I keep painting in the spot I'm painting. And tomorrow night's TikTok, we'll do that one as a free OT.
Or. Or. How about this? Nah, yeah, we'll. Tomorrow night will be a free OT. We'll do that. We'll do that. That's what we'll do. Yeah, sometimes my back doesn't love me on the TikTok streams, but I've just positioned stuff so badly for this stream. <laughs> it was actually it was actually quite hard to position the landscape for the stream because it's so it's so wide. So I wanted to get my lights and stuff out of the way and just have it all clean in the background like I normally do, but being so wide it's quite difficult to move everything out of the way. Yo, Dave. It's going alright, man. It's going alright. Somehow, I managed to work out how to get some music playing in the background for you guys. We're playing some royalty-free stuff, so should be able to use this as a, a recording. And first time setting up my Rode mic and using that for the audio, so... Hopefully my voice comes through a bit better. Thank you very much for coming across as well, Dave. Appreciate it. There's more people from TikTok have come across to watch the stream than people in the Discord. But I mean, it's not really a surprise. You guys are regulars, so... As consistent as I am on TikTok, you guys are as consistent supporting me. Uh, everyone basically everyone from this stream right now is from tt you, you don't actually get a lot of um different audience coming into your your live streams it's not like tiktok where uh, I, I don't think even if we had like 50 people in here from tiktok and everyone was commenting i still don't think it would sort of push me out there to get discovered by people on on youtube I mean, that's what I was hoping for tonight. I was hoping that when I put the, the message in the Discord, because I didn't put in the announcements, I know that people have now announcements muted. <laughs> I, th I thought I'd, I'd put it in the general and, and see if we get some people coming across that haven't been on the streams of late, but um, no such luck. I was hoping that we could get a bunch of people and then see if it would expand the amount of people that, that came into a, a YouTube live. But you learn 
It's all right. I think we might try and do the dual streams. So I'll, yeah, I'll uh, have a look at the cameras from JB. Like Matt said, the ones I should have a look at. And then we'll do a setup so I can stream both at once. As shitty as the uh, the landscape is for TikTok, at least I've got the, the pinch and zoom. Hoping I can do that when I get the camera set up. Yo, Red, how you doing, pal? How you doing? What stream did you miss, Blake? Lockie was just taking some pics of my nights because apparently there's a guy in an Australian page looking for well-painted nights to buy because at one point I was considering selling my nights and I was like, well, the guy's going to want to pay a, a good amount for the nights if he's wanting well-painted nights. So we'll see what his idea of paying well is. I'm having a feeling that his idea of well paid is not the same as mine. What training are you doing at work, Red? Hey, sometimes you just need to sleep, Blake. It's all good. It's all good. $25, yeah. Yeah. Multiply that a couple of times. Ground defense. What do you like security or something, Red? Police. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes sense then. It's a little bit different in the States as it is here in Australia. A lot of people that are in the police in Australia don't disclose that they're a police officer. Like, I mean, obviously, you, you don't just bring it up in, in a regular topic. Like, I mean, I would think like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a sign writer by trade. But, like... Some police officers in Australia are almost secretive and it's quite funny because they're to the point where they're secretive where it's just like, well, you're a police officer. <laughs> it's 
Like when I first got on dating apps, way back when I first got on dating apps, there was a girl I was talking to and she's like, ah, oh. I was like, what do you do for a job? And she's like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want to tell you. I'm like, well, you're either a spy or you're a police officer. She wasn't a spy. Man, the positioning of this is so bad. Like, I can't see anything when I'm trying to highlight this. Give me back my TikTok positioning, please. The volume on some of these tracks is off. Goes up and goes down. Uh, we might try and do the grey highlight here. It's gonna be very hard to do. Oh, knocking it, knocking the whole table. Oosh. Oh yeah, the chat delay. I was trying to. I was trying to fix the um, the latency. So, all right, we're gonna go back to TikTok tomorrow, and we'll be on TikTok on Thursday as well. But I'll probably probably just start doing maybe two nights a week on YouTube, just like an early session for an extra hour, maybe. Probably, maybe. Did I say probably, maybe? I'll tell you, I, I, I'm not against this, this worldy free playlist. Feels like my first ever TikTok stream again when I was getting used to painting on a camera.
Yo, what's happening, Kevin? The the YouTube stream is not too bad. I don't like the. Uh, you know, I wish I had. I wish I had the landscape option for TikTok streams for you guys. That would be fantastic. Uh, but I wish I had the 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 uh, the pinch the pinch zoom for for YouTube. It's actually quite difficult. Plus, my setup right now is horrible. <laughs> We're just going to be going for another like 13 minutes, guys. We're going to end the stream at 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And tomorrow we'll be back on TikTok and that will be a free OT. I've just, uh, the setup over here right now I've done is just so bad. It's not agreeing with my back. So we're just going to call it at the regular time. First time in a long, long time we've actually um, stopped at 10, which is is sort of the regular time, although the 11 p.m. has sort of become the regular time, hasn't it? Take it easy, Blake. Might uh, do a dry fit for you guys. We'll put this guy together and show you what he looks like all together with that camo. Do that now, hey. Landscape is cool. The, the the amount you guys can see is very, very cool. To stay there? Not really. You can you can paint them any color you want, Emma. Yeah, 
So basically, there are with with Space Marines. So with the guys I'm painting, with Space Marines, there's different chapters of Space Marines. So they're basically like brotherhoods, like uh, knight brotherhoods. Uh, and in in Warhammer, depending on the color you paint them, will give them different rules. So my guys are Blood Angels, the red guys, and they're actually really good in combat. So they get bonuses for combat, whereas some other chapters are better at shooting. But you can essentially paint them however you want, and then you can. The beauty of that is you can play them as any chapter you want. So you can make up your own colors and then you could be like, today I'm going to play them as Blood Angels because I want to try out a combat army. Another day you may want to try them out as a shooting army. So I'm not sure what a shooting army is in this edition. Probably the Imperial Fists. But yeah, you can paint them however you want. I follow the Codex, which is like the, I guess, the quote unquote rule book. And that's why my guys have all their markings in specific areas. So like, for instance, this guy has got a yellow blood drop on his shoulder on a black inset shoulder pad, which means he's a sergeant for my guys. The yellow single blood drop on this shoulder pad tells you which company is part of. This little marking down on the knee pad tells you which squad he is part of in the company and then the yellow helmet to the blood angels means he is part of the close support squad whereas uh we'll go with the space wolf we'll go with the space wolf so space wolves have an icon on their shoulder pad depending on their great company so the great company is probably more like the yellow blood drop of the blood angels, but they have theirs on their shoulder pad. And then to mark which type of squad they're in, they have patterns. Normally it's just on the shoulder pad. I like to paint it on the knee and the backpack as well, just to include a bit of extra color because space Marines are quite simple with their colors, but this means he is a grey hunter, I believe, which is sort of just like your your baseline space wolf, which would be sort of like your 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 assault squad and your your battle line intercessors and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is what he looks like. I think he's coming together pretty good. A lot different to a lot different to the Blood Angels, which is what I wanted. Very much what I wanted. I could probably have gotten away with painting in bright red. But uh I like the flesh terror's colours. You'd definitely be able to tell them apart, that's for sure. That is for sure. Even if I painted in curses and infiltrators. They're the other ones I was trying to think of in curses. In curses. What's happened in fusion? We might get him finished tomorrow, you know? Minus the transfers. The shoulder transfer. I'll probably be able to put the knee one on. I might do that after stream today. So they've got. A, a knee transfer here. I don't think the Blood Angels would actually use the knee transfer, but you put the, the heavy support transfer, which is basically a little triangle, and they supply you with these little triangles that are designed for the shoulder pads. So you actually have to cut the ones down for the knees before you put them on.
the rainbow ones. There's one specific there's one specific artist that does a lot of the um the trans colors ones that the LGBTQT colors. They're a very 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 talented artist. Getting back from vacation, yo, how cool's that? You broke two Space Marine arms. You should be able to plastic glue them, brother. I think you should be able to plastic glue them. Yeah, she's also painted Imperial Fists. So she's done a lot of the, the multiple colored Marines, but she's also done some very, very nice Imperial Fists too. Uh, yeah, I think the internet being the internet, no matter what you put out there, you, you're going to pop some hate regardless. And that's obviously a topic that uh, there's probably, there's equal amount of people that are going to praise as well as um, go down the other route. Which I mean... If, if you don't like those type of models, then, I mean, I was always taught that if, if you don't have anything nice to say, you just don't say anything at all. So I don't see why people need to get on those posts to say anything at all. If anything, the people that do comment on those posts that don't like those posts are promoting that post even more. Sort of like that Kanye West and Donald Trump type of um, advertisement, you know? There's, there's no such thing as as bad advertising really they're just they're they're pushing it even further yeah well this is what I I, I talk about I, I I talk about this a lot Leo like I, if people come to me and want some help with their models and with colors and recipes and whatnot I'll give them a hand but I won't actually go out of my way and say hey you should be painting your stuff this way and that's why I get frustrated on, on my TikTok streams when people come in and say stuff and they're like you should be doing this this way. You should be using this paint this way. You should be using this brush. Like let people hobby they want to the, the way they want to hobby. If they want help and they come and ask you, then help them. But apart from that, let people go down their hobby journey the way they want to do it. That is 10 p.m. guys. So... I know I said we we're going to do the free OT, but I positioned everything extremely badly, as you would have heard throughout the stream, me complaining about it a little bit. So we're going to call it at this point. Tomorrow we will be back on TikTok at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and that will be a free OT. So all you need to do is turn up and just like, like, comment, and hang out, which would be cool. Back to the, the the portrait mode again, but at least you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use the mic, so you won't be able to hear the crisp audio of my voice. We'll be back to just the, the audio of the... Uh, maybe... No, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Might be able to see if I can get the mic to work through the phone. Who knows? Anyway... Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming across to YouTube and supporting me. We will do this all again tomorrow. So I know there is no Chad Kroger at the end of this stream letting you know that it's the end, but it is. Enjoy your night, guys. Enjoy your day. And take it easy.